Welcome to part two of importing a SPICE model directly off the web and then bringing it into Hyperlinks Analog. So, so far what we've done is we've gone to our SPICE libraries and we've added a SPICE library which added this new linear technology op amp. We dragged and dropped, it automatically created the symbol. This section is going to focus on customizing that symbol so that it looks more like an op amp. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to the Linear Technology website and I'm going to go ahead and type in that part number LF155, obviously I've done that before and we'll search and now we'll just pop into the data sheet And here we have the data sheet. Zoom in a little bit. All right, so isn't it really nice that their data sheet also matches their node configuration in their spice file, which it does. So now we can go ahead and in a DX designer, now that we've got a an image to work with, and let's go ahead and select the component we're going to edit the local symbol that's a right mouse click operation and what this is going to do is it's going to automatically invoke the uh, DX designer new symbol editor and this is our bounding box so you know we want to make a nice looking op amp so really what we're going to reuse are the pins and all of this, uh, you know, you could use that box as it came in, that block symbol, and uh, it would work just fine, right? This, we're not going to modify the functionality of the simulation model. All we're doing is sprucing up the uh, graphics. Personally, I like to the graphics to be somewhat meaningful. Let's go ahead and rotate that around. That gives me a better idea of how big this graphic ought to be. And, you know, let's just flip back a little bit so that we can uh, see the picture. So our inputs, the negative input is 2, the positive input is 3, the positive DC supply is 7, negative DC supply, pin 4, output, pin 6. So Let's go back in here. So 6 was the output. I knew that these two were the inputs. So 7, that's the positive DC supply. So let's go ahead and put that up there someplace. And then the negative DC supply was pin 4. Then let's see, in terms of the inputs, 2 was negative, and that was on the top, so, something like that. And then, now that I've got this pin selected, and I know that's a negative input, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a new property here, net name, and I'm going to name it in negative. Put 
that up there. I oh, know that's in positive. Pin four, that was DC negative. And again, you don't need to do any of this as long as you know what the pinout is. DC positive of course pin 6 that's our output and now if we want to we can pretty up the graphics even further let me give myself a little bit more room to work with. Alright, so that's good. So now let's save it. Close it. And then pop back over to DX Designer. And you can see that it's been automatically updated. So let's zoom in on that a little bit. And so there you have it. Now, if I were to, you know, now to go to my component symbols, you can see my local symbol, my spice. Linear Technology 155. And granted, it's not the prettiest uh, drawing of a op amp, but it was relatively quick, and it does make it easier when I'm creating the schematic later. In part three, we'll go ahead and set up the summing amplifier and then run that through Hyperlinks Analog. Okay, thank you.